सो हेलो एवरी वन आई यू समन हु इज लुकिंग टू स्टार्ट अ करियर इन मेडिकल कोडिंग आफ्टर योर फार्मा लाइफ साइंसिस ग्रेजुएशन इफ यस देन यू हैव कम टू द राइट वीडियो टूडे विल बी लुकिंग एट द फंडामेंटल एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ मेडिकल कोडिंग वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ कोड्स इन्वॉल्व एंड हाउ टू बिकम एलिजिबल फॉर दिस करियर विल बी ऑल्सो लुकिंग एट मेडिकल कोडिंग कंपनीज मेडिकल कोडिंग जॉब्स एज वेल एज वॉट आर द सैलरीज फॉर फ्रेशर्स एंड एक्सपीरियंस पीपल सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अड यू लेट स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो So before we start this video a humble request that make sure you subscribe to the channel because it takes a lot of efforts research and discussion with the industry experts to bring you quality content so a subscribe to the channel would be highly appreciated so let's dive into the fundamentals of what exactly is medical coding so imagine a scenario where a doctor treats a patient and the report is required to be created for the patient as well as for the insurance company This is because to understand what treatment was given in order to process the claim or the bill. So medical coding comes into picture where it is the process of transferring that healthcare diagnosis, procedures, medical services or what equipment was used into a universal alphanumeric codes which are uniform and understood throughout the industry and works in an efficient manner to process the claims and the billings and the type of treatment given. so this particular codes are used to accumulate patient data process insurance claim with the third party players collect statistics to track information on specific disease and what treatment was given medical coders work behind the scene in the healthcare industry to ensure that all this information for patient treatment disease what kind of process was involved and they code it appropriately in a efficient and a useful manner so the primary use for medical coding is to ensure that medical billing as well as insurance carrier pay and process the claim correctly and through this system also valuable research data can be accumulated and it can also serve as a very strong medical record keeping for the patients also so this is about medical coding so now let's see what are the types of medical codes involved so there are three major types of medical codes first one among which is icd code it is called as international classification of diseases it was developed by who and this particular icd code is used for the classification of healthcare recording and data collections and these codes classify according to the symptoms disease and the illness as well as the cause of death so this is icd Again when it comes to medical coding you must have heard CPT so CPT is nothing but current procedural terminology so this particular code is to identify the medical surgical as well as diagnostic procedures and services within the united states and it was developed by the AMA American Medical Association it includes three major category first is the procedure and the contemporary medical practices second is the clinical labs and third is the emerging technology so this is about the cpt codes next is hcpcs which is healthcare common procedure of coding it was developed by centers for medicare and medicaid and medicare services and it was developed for this coding system to help claim processes through insurance for the medicare or other provided this particular codes are used to note medical procedures products supplies and services so if you can see that icd is majorly used in the disease illness and death uh, type of coding cpt is mostly used for the practices the clinical laboratory tests done and the emerging technology coding uh, purview whereas hcp uh, cs is used for processing the insurance claim for the medicare and medicaid uh, providers okay so these are the major kind of medical codes now what are the responsibilities of a medical coder what exactly does he do or does she do so one of the core responsibilities of the medical coder is to ensure that the medical records are accurately transcribed and the job of the medical coder is to proficiently use this medical code in adherence with the ethical guidelines as well as the medical coding guidelines so that there is no further mistakes in coding and whatever the procedures uh, were done whatever the treatment was given it is accurately coded 
what are the day to day responsibilities of medical coding what they do day to day so first and foremost they transcribe the patient information into appropriate medical codes that is coding they examine the medical documents and the record for any missing information they also conduct the chart audits they collect research and uh, file medical information and they ensure that all the documents are grammatically correct they are appropriately uh, mentioned in the source document as well as they comply to the medical coding guideline and policies so this is what you will do once you work as a medical coder so a lot of you wants to do a career in medical coding so what is the eligibility for it first and foremost you must have a graduation degree in pharma healthcare or related fields even in life sciences would qualify you should have a strong knowledge of human anatomy medical terminology and related aspects and also a knowledge of basic medical codes and certification from the accredited institute would be highly appreciated okay uh, some of the medical uh, coding courses are as per uh, given below so icd uh, 10 uh, medical code is highly and widely used so you should know that so these courses are also available online but when it comes to indian scenario a lot of indian companies directly take fresher and then they train them on icd codes and they qualify them for the cpd examinations and everything so for experience you need the certification but when you are a fresher then your company can help you get through the cpd examination also okay so this is the eligibility so a lot of student ask me what is the salary for medical coders so if you are a fresher your starting salary is 12 to 15k i understand it is lower but at this point of time you do not have any certification in medical coding so your companies invest in you and they teach you medical coding as well as they make you qualify for the cpt examinations also hcps also so uh, a lot of time is spent investing in your training so the salary for the freshers is 12 to 15000 so when you get one year of experience you are junior medical coder where your salary increases from 18 to 20000 and when you have two years of medical uh, coding experience you become a senior medical coder where your salary is 25 to 28000 okay once you are expert in this uh, particular field you can also have a five plus years of experience where you qualify for the team lead position where your salary is anywhere around 50 to 60000 now please note here that these particular salaries are the industry's average not the absolute values so some companies can give more some companies can give average salaries also so please consider that while choosing this career again which companies should you look for so the top medical coding recruiters in india are uh, gebs healthcare solution ags healthcare global healthcare billing partners omega healthcare is also one of the good companies cognizant technologies i don't need to explain anything further because it's a very good company advant med is there visionary rcm is there episos is there so you can go and look for the vacancies of this particular company and apply for this job if you are fresh or experienced alike and if you are looking for making a good career in clinical research then make sure that uh, you enroll yourself in this batch so it's a certification in clinical research for the 6 weeks it will be online and the fees of it is highly amazing it is just 10000 inr and the batch size is 10 students only so you can get individualized personal attention also and these fees are till 15th may only so make sure that you register yourself quickly So if you want to uh, get your admission this is the QR code please scan it and just it will take you to the admission link where you can uh, admit yourself and do this amazing course and enter into the field of clinical research So I hope I was able to help you and thank you for watching this video till the end make sure you share this video to all the pharmacy and the life science students who are looking to make a career in clinical research and medical coding also and also subscribe to the channel it will help us and motivate us in the future also and thank you everyone